I'm Steve Adubato for JFK TV. I'm joined by Dr. Frank Cunningham, who is the medical director of the pediatric department here at JFK. It's an expanded pediatric emergency department, right? That's correct, Steve. What makes it so exciting? It's, it's, it's very exciting because it's brand new, and it's uh, created de novo. It's, it's child-friendly and age- Is that what that means? Yes, child-friendly and age-neutral. Um, and it's equipped with uh, pediatric physicians to take care of kids, as well as pediatric uh, trained nurses as well. Let's talk about this, doctor, because for you and your colleagues, um, you work under trying conditions. Mm -hmm. With something like this, and by the way, um, Ray Fredericks told, told us there are 15 rooms here? 15 rooms, yes. What will it mean for you and your colleagues when you're here and you're working with not just the children, but their families? What will it mean for you and your colleagues? Well, I think part of the thing with dealing with an emergency, a child's emergency, is the fact that it's a very stressful event. It's stressful for the family, and it's also stressful sometimes for the staff as well. We don't appreciate that sometimes. <laughs> I think so. I think because after a while, doing it for, for a while, you get kind of become second nature. But we sometimes tend to forget the real stress with, is, is with the family. And I think for the family coming into an environment like this, they can see that it's soothing, it's comforting. And then, de then dealing with a staff, physician staff as well as nursing staff, that are comfortable dealing with children, that helps to put them at ease. And, and something that may not be found in other emergency departments. Dr. Cunningham, I want to follow up on something. Ray Fredericks was talking about um, like uh, a room has K for kangaroo, and he was saying that it gets uh, the children to be distracted or, or not so focused on what's happening with them as the families as well. Mm -hmm. How important is it to lower that tension level for kids and their parents? It's, it's, it's very important because you know if, if you make them relaxed and feel less stressed, then they will also appreciate what's going on, and they'll, they'll relax as well and be able to be involved in the care. And an environment like this makes it easier for that to happen. And there's distractions, both not on the walls, but also there's a TV as well uh, that provides some degree of, of uh, relaxation and distraction from what may uh, be going on around them as well. Doctor, let's talk a little bit about the privacy factor. Um, the difference between a curtain versus these, um, they, they break away breakaway doors. Break away doors. Let's talk about that privacy and how much impact that has on the quality of clinical care here at the ED. Mm -hmm. Well, it has a, a big impact. I mean, a lot of other emergency departments do not have this, this option that we have here. Um, a lot of times people are even seen in the hallways with no curtains. Or, or and What impact does that have? Well, I mean, it impacts greatly on, on the privacy of the patient and how they feel about the care that's given to them. Um, I think you, as a parent, would feel much more at ease in a room where you have some privacy and be able to talk about your child's issues than in the middle of a hallway in a busy emergency department where things are happening all around you. And children get frightened, too, by just seeing what's around them. They may not understand what's going on, and, they, and that can be add, add even more to their anxiety as well. Let's talk a little bit about the pride factor. I mean, I was here um, a while ago, about a year ago, and I'm thinking about the progress that has taken place, and I'm thinking about what's going to happen and where it's going to be. What does an expanded, improved pediatric ED mean to you and your colleagues, just in terms of the pride and connection with JFK? Well, I'm going to tell you, just from my perspective here, I'm a new joiner here. I, I joined here about uh, two months ago. You came on board then. Board. What brought you on board? Well, what brought me on board was the, the vision that I saw and the vision after talking with uh, an administration that was progressive and eager and energetic, and they had a vision for the future, something that I had not seen in quite a long time. And it was important for me to, in, in selecting to come here, that I meet with the administration to talk to them about where they saw this place going in the future. And when I did speak with them, I was very uh, encouraged and enlightened about what they had plans for. And, and that made my decision very easy. And that's what this is. That's where we are right now. Exactly. And this, this is something, what you're seeing right now is unique. It's not happening anywhere else in New Jersey. I can tell you that for Why is it? Well, I'm not looking to put down anyone else, but the question is, Ray was saying this as well, a model. Mm -hmm. Why does it take so long for people to figure out, hey, this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the best environment for parents and their children. Well, I mean, firstly, I mean, I think uh, children always came a little second with regard to emergency services. And um, when push comes to shove with regard to monetary allocation, mm. pediatrics doesn't always get first dibs. And but here that's different. Here it's different. And th this is one of the reasons why I came here. 
because I was excited to see that the priorities were different and I was very excited and encouraged by meeting the people and talking to them face to face and asking the questions that I wanted to ask as a pediatric emergency physician and also as a parent about what they saw this place going to be. And I didn't want to set up with a dog and pony show right. where we can just set this up and not be able to function. It was important for me to see what the vision was behind this here. And, and that's what I, I was encouraged about. It's exciting. Thank you, Dr. Cunningham. Thank you.